guys, Kelly here with Mindful Body Works. So today we're gonna to be doing a short yin yoga practice, and this practice is going to be for the low back and the hips. So it's just a really great practice if you're having any issues with those areas. Yin yoga stretches that are connective tissue, stretching out the fascia helps the muscles, so it's a win-win. Most of the poses we hold three to five minutes. If for some reason you're uncomfortable and you need to come out of the pose earlier, please do. With yin yoga, you wanna find your edge um, on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being a really, really intense stretch. You wanna back off to about a five because as we sit there in our pose for a few moments, gravity will start to stretch us as well. So we don't wanna start out in a really intense stretch because gravity is just gonna make that even more so. So let's go ahead and get started. We always start with a breathing exercise. Today we're gonna to be doing ocean breath or ujjayi breathing. Ujjayi breathing is um, where you constrict your throat a little bit when you're inhaling and exhaling. Uh, if you think about fogging a mirror, it's a nice, slow, steady breath. And so you just, um, even though you're making the sound of fogging a mirror, you're not doing that through your mouth, you're only breathing through your nose. So we're gonna inhale for about four or five count, exhale the same, and we'll do that about five to 10 reps. So let's go ahead and close our eyes and get started. So I want you to sit nice and tall and comfortable. I want your head to be over your seat. So make sure you're not leaning forward. You wanna have a nice straight spine. And you can sit cross-legged or however it's comfortable for you. And we'll go ahead and start our breath. So we're gonna inhale for four, three, two, one, and exhale for four, three, two, one. And keep counting that in your head, inhaling and exhaling. And remember we're doing the ujjayi breath or ocean breath, so we wanna hear you're constricting your throat just a little bit so it sounds like this. So we have about four more breaths like this. So inhaling nice and slow for a count of four and pause and then exhale for a count of four, constricting your throat. Three more. Last one. And breathing normal, keeping your eyes closed, inhaling into the belly. And exhaling, letting any stress, tension, anxiety, let it exhale out. One more time, inhaling deeply into the belly. And exhaling, releasing anything that's not needed or wanted in the body or mind. And then we'll slowly open our eyes, blinking open. And let's get started with our practice. So our first pose, we're gonna be lying on the floor or our mat. Now, if you need to, you can make a pillow for your head, but you definitely don't have to. We're going to be doing a reclining butterfly. So we're going to take the soles of our feet together. Now you can use blocks out to the side. This can help you. Um, if you don't need those, obviously you can remove them. If you don't have blocks, you can also use a blanket or a pillow underneath your knees. Now this is a great hip opener, so just go ahead and make some micro adjustments so that you're nice and comfy, and you can lay here for about five minutes. 
So we're going to be inhaling deeply into the belly and exhaling completely. Now with yin yoga, sometimes the hardest part is to relax the mind because you're having to be completely still for three to five minutes. And sometimes that's really hard in this go, go, go world. So I encourage you to find your breath and really focus on that and focus on thinking about that connective tissue, releasing and stretching. So find your breath and relax. Now that we've been here for a few moments, if gravity has started to make this pose uncomfortable, go ahead and make some little micro adjustments so that you're comfy. Whether you're putting books or blocks or pillows or blankets under your knees, or maybe you need to tilt your pelvis towards the ceiling and then relax the hips back down. This will help with your low back if you're feeling any discomfort here. We have a few more minutes here, so find your breath. deeply into the hips and the adductors or the inner thigh and exhaling allowing those to stretch just a little bit more into the pose more breaths here.
Starting to lengthen the breath, pulling that breath down to the belly. Very slowly, we're going to bring the knees back towards each other. Sometimes coming out of these poses that we've been holding for a little bit, things feel a little stiff. That's completely normal. Our next pose that we'll be doing is a supported bridge. So we're going to be taking our block underneath our sacrum. Now it's very important to point out if you're having low back issues already that you need to stay on the lowest height of the block um, first and then if you'd like to challenge yourself you can bring it up to the middle height but for starters I'd like for you to try the lowest. So we'll be pushing through the heels lifting the hips towards the ceiling placing the block right at the sacrum now this might be all that you need. You can keep your knees bent. If you take your feet out wide on the mat, then you can relax your knees in together. And this will help you relax into the pose more. Uh, if you'd like, you can also have your legs out long. And this stretches out the front of the hips, the psoas. It's a wonderful, wonderful hip opener. Now, if you're not having any low back issues and you'd like to try a higher block, you can come to that middle setting and put it right underneath your sacrum and relax the legs out or leave the legs bent. Completely up to you. It's all about listening to your own body. Remember, we're gonna be here for a few minutes, so if you're starting out uncomfortable, you want to go ahead and make your adjustments to uh, your body so that you're nice and comfy. And then we're going to start breathing here. You can have your hands down by your sides or if you'd like to open your chest, you can come into cactus arms. It's always really nice with this pose. You shouldn't have any pressure on your neck, but you can bring your chin toward your chest a little bit and that will help with your neck. So again, breathing into the hips. Every exhale, we're really relaxing into the pose a little bit more each time. Allowing our bodies to feel nice and heavy and weighted. Almost like we're sinking back into the earth. Finding your slow, steady breath. And relaxing in this peaceful pose. Now that we've been here a few moments, if you need to make any micro adjustments to make yourself comfortable, please do so. Finding the breath, surfing that breath, inhaling deeply into the belly, and pause, and exhaling completely.
Starting to lengthen the breath again. If you've lost your breath, inhaling deeply. And exhaling, melting into the mat. Everything feels nice and weighted. And when you're ready, you can bring one knee and the other bent. If you don't have them bent already. You can push up through the heels, lifting the hips off the mat so that you can remove your block. And we'll take a breath here. And then our next pose, we're just going to bend the knees into the chest and grab the big toes and come into happy baby. Now, for some reason, you're not able to grab your toes or lift up. You can put your blanket or a block under your head and this will assist you in being able to reach your toes. So with this, this is a wonderful example of gravity opening the hips. So our soles of our feet are up towards the sky. We're grabbing our big toe. For some reason that's uncomfortable. You can grab the arches of the feet as well. And you wanna find a balance between effort and surrender. Our effort is holding the toes but we want to surrender and allow gravity. So we're relaxing our arms, relaxing the legs, letting the hips open. And we're breathing. Make sure you're not clenching your jaw, you're relaxing your neck. Allowing the upper back to imprint into the floor. Making any micro adjustments that you need. And finding that slow, steady breath. Beginning to lengthen the breath. Inhaling into the lowest part of the belly. And then on your exhale, squeeze in the belly button towards the spine. And again, breathe a little deeper, inhaling. And exhaling. When you're ready, slowly bending at the knees, and keeping the knees into the chest, opening the low back. And slowly relaxing yourself out of this pose, bringing the feet to the mat, knees are still bent. From here, we're just going to come into our final resting pose or corpse pose. So taking the legs nice and long, hands out by our sides. 
Bringing the shoulder blades down away from the neck or the ears and bringing the low back down away from the shoulders. If you're having any low back tension, you can put a bolster or blanket underneath your knees. You can also tilt your pelvis towards the ceiling and then relax the hips back down. And this will help create space in the lumbar spine. So we're gonna relax here just for a few moments. So finding your breath. Anytime a thought pops in your head, just put it in a little bubble and let it float away just for a few moments. And I'll let you know when it's time to get up. And starting to lengthen the breath again, bringing our focus back to our awareness of our body and our mind. Wiggling the toes, opening and closing the hands, bringing circulation to the limbs. And when you're ready, you can bend one knee and then the other. We can windshield wiper these legs a little bit. Nice and slow. Coming back to center, we're going to let both knees fall over to the right side so that we can push ourselves up into a seated position. I'm sitting comfortably, however that might be. And this is where we're going to end our practice today. So we're going to close our eyes one final time and bring our hands to our heart center in prayer position, just to help to root us back into space. So pushing the palms together, feeling the warmth between the hands, and taking a nice deep inhalation here. And exhaling, we'll go ahead and take our chin towards our chest. And so taking one final breath here, inhaling deeply into the belly and exhaling and slowly blinking the eyes back open, keeping your gaze low. 
And when you're ready, you can go ahead and sit up nice and slow. And this is where we'll go ahead and conclude our practice. So namaste. Thank you so much for taking the time to get a quick stretch in. I hope this helps your low back and your hips. Be sure to like and subscribe and feel free to share with anyone that might need this as well. Thanks for watching.